I think you're Friday night. Night. What the hell? Nothing's gone on TV. <laughs> mm, no, no, no. It's a really fascinating thing. We've, we've always talked about how, you know, we, we grew up sort of, I think we met, we were both Python fans, and we were both sort of punk rockers. You know, right. and we wanted to do a punk rock TV show. And when, you were, when we were growing up, the way to be punk rock was to be really liberal, you know, because we grew up with Reagan in high school and all right, of that, right. you know. And then, but then we moved, to, the problem was we moved to L.A. and we did, the, you know, and then the only way to be punk rock in L.A. is to be a Republican. Because it's the only way, you know, you're in a party, the only way is to be like, I think George Bush is awesome. Everyone's like, what? You know, <laughs> just like, you know, and that it really, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And when we did Team, Team America. I've seen Trey do that before, too. Yeah, awesome. yeah. You mean go into a party and say. Just said it. Yeah, said I think this he's lady great. That was in Malibu, and he just said, I love George Bush, and I love my gun. And this lady just face just <laughs> melted of her skin melted, and melted her off. Her face her. melted off. But it, it, it is like, you know, we've got this, you know, we got this reputation. There was this book that came out called South Park Conservatives. Right. Where, I, you know, and, and it was a label, I think, originally given by Andrew Sullivan uh, right. to the show. And I think there is a little bit of, like, libertarianism. Is he your number one fan? There's some great quote about yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's a big he's fan. And, and, like, he's written some really cool stuff about the show and Team America, the movie. But... I think that some of, you know, we did grow up in Colorado, which is kind of a Republican state, but it's more of a libertarian kind of like live and let live kind yeah. of attitude. Yeah. And I'm sure some of that seeps through in, in, in the work. But, I mean, we've done, we've taken so many different conservative ideals to task, too. But we have just ripped on a couple of liberal ones, like uh, Barbara Streisand or Rob Reiner. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, we're conservatives. And it's like, right. to live in L.A., to live in California, those are the sacred cows. <laughs> I mean, literally and figuratively. <laughs> That was a that was a bad joke. Oh, it was. That was a terrible joke. God. But, um, oh, God. but you know, I mean, it is true. Like Trey said, it's like you know, if you go, if we sit around in our writers' room and we all sit around and go, and what, what I and I think of our best stuff comes out is we try to personify this side of the argument and this side, and then we take a little funny yeah, way out. Right. right. And I, I'm just not interested in and Trey can I for this. I'm not interested in sitting around and agreeing with people. Right. And where we live is like the liberalist <laughs> liberal part of the world. Everybody, and not because I don't... There's a, there's a group think. There's right. a group think, and you only get yeah. to some new truth by argument and by dissent, and yeah. it's like some of it is just... We just play yeah. devil's advocate all the time. <laughs> yeah. you know? Here's what else you said. I am just sick of actors on CNN parroting <laughs> what they read in the paper. I keep expecting Larry King to say, and now for a word on Iraq, the cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> yes.